I will never forget the day it was all clear to me that she was gone and never to return. It was almost as if time stood still. The usual tick tock on the clock died down and my childish smile turned into a frown and I felt my tiny eyelids fill up like a volcano and spill onto the arc of my cheeks and past my lips of steel as I tasted pain. I didn't know my heart could bleed. I didn't know that I could go from being alive and well to completely numb in an instant. I tried to pick up my hand to get a quick pinch because this had to be a nightmare. Never to smell her scent as she walks out her bedroom door. Never to hold her nostrils together when she starts to snore. Never to hear her grinding her teeth when she thinks or ask who left the fork in the kitchen sink. Because just like a, a pen with dried up ink was her body without a soul. I felt the hole beneath my feet get bigger and like a trigger, these words shot out of my lips. Bury me with her. See, it's crazy because the one that created me had taken away the one that gave birth. So at the age of 11, I had to grow up. In family meetings, I had to show up. Kept my tears in a container that was ready to blow up because I kept them convicted behind my facade. So at times I would bail them out or rather grant them probation as I'd escape into the soft fabric of my pillow. Like a, a slap across the face, it hit me that I was officially to be labeled an orphan. No father figure, and now my mother's figure had figured it's time it disappeared, never to reappear. And looking at her lying there, I felt like holding her lips apart and giving her the life in me. But then I looked around the room, and from being just a little girl, these faces had seen the wife in me. I'll never forget the day it was all clear to me that she was gone and never to return. The plans we had were all a blur and I had to start from scratch. Like an island I was secluded, alone. And no one came near me for a hug because they thought I would break. Give me a break. My heart can't break any longer. I thought that I'd be stronger. See, I wasn't there when she took her last breath and I felt that I had wronged her. Lord, how I wish we had prolonged her stay. Come what may, she would say. And at night I would, I'd kneel before my bed, bow down my head as if to say a prayer, but instead I'd whisper, why me? And I'll never forget the day he gave me an answer. Not for my father's bullet wounds or my mother's cancer, but for the, the purpose he purposefully created me and allowed pain and heartache to befriend me. They'd offend me, but the Lord would stand in the gap and defend me. Because you see, the devil thought that he had won when I lost my dad at the tender age of one. So growing up, I fell in love with the first guy that greeted me, thinking in him, I'd find a piece of him. But then came him to replace them and grant me eternal peace within. Look at me now. I eat, sleep, drink grace and mercy. I sing and dance to the rhythm of David's harp and so can you regardless of what you've been through or who you've lost. Because even God was at a loss when Jesus died on that cross. And there will come a day where he'll wipe away every tear from your eyes. Whether your smile is genuine or you're weeping in disguise, it should come as no surprise. That I'll never forget the day it was all clear to me. Said I'll never forget the day it was all clear to me. That although Christ is gone, he is yet to return.